Baby, if you're, if you're out there, you know, we're still looking for you to come home, you know. You know, we miss you. We miss you very much. She just has this laugh that is specifically hers. <laughs> I can hear her voice. And I try to hold on to that because I'm like, will I hear it again? This is the story of Tiffany Nicole Foster, a devoted mother of three, dedicated to her education and job. She was engaged to Reginald Robertson, and their relationship held secrets beneath the surface. Tiffany's life was on track, pursuing a future in law enforcement after her upcoming graduation. However, tragedy struck when she mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. As the investigation progressed, it unveiled startling revelations about the twisted web of her relationship. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Noonan, a picturesque city in Georgia known for its historic charm and close-knit community. In this seemingly idyllic setting, a tale of mystery and heartbreak unfolded that would forever change the lives of those involved. Tiffany Nicole Foster, age 35, was a responsible and dedicated individual. She was a loving mother, daughter of Katrina Hill and the late Larry Starks, and a cherished member of her family. Tiffany's dedication extended beyond her role as a mother, as she pursued a brighter future through education and work. Enrolled at Georgia Military College, she was determined to major in criminal justice, showcasing her commitment to making a difference in her community. Tiffany's warmth and responsible nature shone through in every aspect of her life, and her job at HelloFresh as a security guard attested to her unwavering devotion. Her admirable qualities painted a picture of a strong and resilient individual, her commitment to her family, and her desire to create a better future, were the driving forces that shaped her daily life. Tiffany Nicole Foster was engaged to Reginald Robertson, her relationship with Reginald was a complex blend of affection and underlying issues. The timeline of their relationship was marked by both moments of happiness and troubling signs that hinted at a darker reality. Tiffany and Reginald's relationship had been ongoing for a significant period. Those who were close to Tiffany described instances where she exhibited signs of distress and discomfort. These accounts raised questions about the nature of their relationship and the impact it had on Tiffany's well-being. As we delve deeper into the investigation, it becomes evident that Tiffany and Reginald's relationship was marked by abuse and underlying tensions. On March 1, 2021, Tiffany left her home at the Lakeside Apartments in Noonan, Georgia, with plans to visit the grocery store. Little did anyone know that this routine errand would lead to a series of events that would forever alter the course of her life. What was intended to be a quick errand turned into an agonizing mystery as Tiffany never returned. As days passed, concern grew exponentially, exacerbated by the fact that Tiffany missed not only her work shift, but also her school attendance. Tiffany and Reginald used to share a residence, but even after Tiffany not showing up to school the following day, Robertson neglected to report his fiancé missing. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that her fiancé, Reginald Robertson, would be at the center of the investigation. The events that unfolded on that fateful day in Noonan, Georgia, painted a chilling picture of the crime that shook the community and shattered Tiffany Nicole Foster's world. The unsettling circumstances surrounding Tiffany's disappearance prompted her mother, Katrina Hill, to contact the police and report her missing. As investigators began to delve into the details of the case, shocking revelations emerged. Tiffany's vehicle, a Nissan Altima, was discovered nearly 30 miles away from her apartment, abandoned in College Park on March 8. Inside the vehicle were Tiffany's belongings, including her purse, keys, and bank card, yet these items provided no immediate clarity regarding her whereabouts. A sisterly bond forever inked in place, matching heart tattoos, a permanent reminder that Kimberly Bryant and Tiffany Foster will always be in each other's hearts. Pay for them. I was like, it's paid for, so you gotta go through with it. The sisters always together at birthdays. <laughs> one sister enjoying the screams of another on a fair ride. <laughs> The two talked weekly without missing a beat, but then 
the beat stopped. It still doesn't seem real. Tiffany's been missing for months, disappeared after leaving her home, her three children clueless. She wouldn't leave them like that. Kimberly says instead of Tiffany's fiance who was at the home, Tiffany's only daughter alerted the family to call police. They took my niece to tell my mom, hey, my mom didn't come home for us to do it. Tiffany's car later found her purse and keys inside, her phone still missing. In a bizarre twist, Tiffany's fiance, Reginald Robertson, was charged with theft for moving her car after she disappeared. He spoke at a press conference days before his arrest. She left me and her daughter at home. We haven't seen her, you know. Kimberly at the same press conference felt something was off. Something in me just said like he knows more than what he's doing. But investigators say Robertson wasn't a suspect in her disappearance. Would Tiffany leave on her own without her children a few months before graduating college to fulfill a dream of working in law enforcement? Everything was going good for her. So I'm sorry. That's why I say like when I have to think about it. <laughs> it's just so hurtful. It leads your mind to think of so many things on the spectrum. But Kimberly won't let her mind dwell on the negative. Until I get that evidence in my mind, she's alive. And we'll continue to work to bring Tiffany home, bring back her laughter, and make two sisters' hearts whole again. Her inexplicable disappearance has cast suspicion on the man who was reportedly the last person to see her, her fiancé, Reginald Robertson. Reginald Robertson was thrust into the spotlight as the investigation continued. His history with Tiffany and their relationship dynamics became a focal point of scrutiny. Notably, a history of domestic violence incidents between the couple came to light, adding a layer of complexity to the already intricate case. Coweta County investigators have designated Robertson as a person of interest in Tiffany's case, a development that has raised significant concerns. The gravity of the situation has led authorities to charge Robertson with the theft of Tiffany's car, which was discovered in College Park after she disappeared. The investigation also uncovered another disturbing incident that took place in November 2020. Robertson was charged with kidnapping and aggravated assault, a mere three months before Tiffany vanished. The narrative takes an even more distressing turn as Tiffany's family accuses Robertson of not taking appropriate action when she went missing. The heart-wrenching question arises. If he truly cared for Tiffany, why didn't he exert every effort to find her and bring her home safely? Kimberly Bryan voices the sentiment, questioning the lack of action, and asking, if you love and care for this person, you would be doing anything and everything to bring them home, and you're not. Why is that? Amid mounting suspicions, Robertson's cooperation with investigators wanes. He has reportedly denied any knowledge of Tiffany's disappearance and ceased cooperation with law enforcement. However, the family continued to grapple with the uncertainty surrounding Tiffany's fate and their dedication to finding answers remained resolute. The increased reward offered by the family underscores their determination to uncover the truth. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office has relentlessly pursued the truth behind Tiffany's disappearance, piecing together an intricate puzzle of alleged crimes. The list of charges against Robertson is staggering, ranging from felony murder and malice murder to concealing a death, false imprisonment, kidnap, rape, forgery in the first degree, financial transaction fraud, and financial transaction car theft. Two years, the community here in Coweta County helped search for Tiffany Foster. Investigators following all leads and turning over every stone, only to learn it was the man she lived with and called her fiance, the deputy say, took her life. He ripped away a light in our family. It's been less than 24 hours since deputies notified Kimberly Bryan and her family that her missing sister was murdered. Tiffany Foster disappeared over two years ago. Her family searched, prayed, and held out hope for her safe return. The feeling of it's not fair, the feeling of guilt, the feeling of grief, the feeling of anger, like I go through all these emotions. But their hope of Tiffany coming home ran dry when Coweta County Sheriff's Office Thursday announced charges against her ex-fiance, Reginald Robertson. He is being charged with felony murder, malice murder, kidnapping, rape. Along with several other charges. She was a good mom. Who leaves behind three children. Then to have to look my niece in the face and my nephews and stuff, and we don't have no answers to tell them. She has a message for anyone else who may be in an abusive relationship. When someone is not treating you right, when someone is abusive to you, get out. Because 
whatever they possibly could do, it's not just going to affect you. Brian says this tragedy has forever changed her family. It's like we're walking around with a scar. We won't be the same. We're not the same. We won't be the same after this, but you know, we will be okay. Now investigators haven't said if Foster's body has been recovered or a potential manner of death, but they tell us after executing over 50 search warrants and collecting 180 pieces of evidence, they are very confident and the charges against Reginald Robertson. Investigator Stacky Beckham from the Coweta County Sheriff office provided insight into the mounting evidence against Robertson, revealing that there are a total of 19 pieces of compelling evidence in their case. These pieces, meticulously gathered by investigators, paint a disturbing picture of the relationship between Tiffany and Robertson during the last week of her life. The initial statements provided by Robertson have become a crucial aspect of the investigation, as they appear to conflict with evolving details. In the early stages of Tiffany's disappearance, Robertson's plea echoed with a heartbreaking plea. Baby, if you are out there, we miss you. We miss you very much. If you're out there, you know, we're still looking for you to come home, you know. We miss you. We miss you very much. These words now reverberate amidst the backdrop of allegations and charges that have cast a sinister shadow over the case. Kimberly Bryan, Tiffany's sister, spoke out about the anguish her family is enduring. Expressing her desire for justice, she stated, he's a monster, and I want justice for my sister. A recent revelation emerged during a meeting between the family and investigators, unveiling warrants alleging that Robertson is responsible for Tiffany's disappearance and her subsequent death. Despite these chilling developments, the search for Tiffany continues her whereabouts are still unknown. However, authorities have conveyed their grim belief that Tiffany's life has been tragically cut short. The cumulative evidence compiled by the sheriff's office suggests that Tiffany Foster is no longer alive, leaving her family to grapple with the agonizing reality that their beloved Tiffany may be forever lost. The heart-wrenching truth is that what happened to Tiffany should never have occurred. Her life was filled with potential and possibilities that were abruptly cut short by a sequence of events shrouded in darkness. In the aftermath of such a tragedy, we are left to wonder if there were ways this could have been prevented. Could someone have intervened, reaching out to Tiffany in her time of need? Could the signs of distress and turmoil within her relationship have been detected earlier? Questions like these gnaw at our consciousness, underscoring the importance of raising awareness about domestic violence and fostering a culture where reaching out for help is not a sign of weakness, but an act of strength. Her family and loved ones are left grappling with not only the profound loss of Tiffany, but also the unanswered questions that linger like shadows in their hearts. The pain of not knowing her fate, the uncertainty of her final moments, and the weight of justice yet to be served are heavy burdens to bear. My heartfelt condolences go out to the friends and family of the victim. May the journey of healing bring you solace, and may you ultimately find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.